escalating earthquakes farm guys over 3300 earthquakes in one day 800 of them in the first three hours Hey everyone, we have to talk about a mysterious earthquake swarm that keeps getting stronger. I have ignored this for a while and I've been watching it, but now is the time. I think guys, you should know about this because it's somewhere where you would not expect it. Germany, guys, I have some viewers from Germany as well. So I think for you guys, this area is probably known to you, the Vogtland. It's a picturesque hilly region in Germany, in Saxony, Bavaria, Thuringia, and the Czech Republic. So it's known for its low mountains, um, medical springs, and famous landmarks like the Gölstalbrücke. That's really a tongue breaker. That's the world's largest brick bridge. That's not good if that bridge gets earthquakes. I can tell you that, guys. It's a hilly plateau on the foothills of the Ore Mountains, offers scenic beauty, outdoor activities. Lots of people are hiking and cycling in this area. So you wouldn't think that there's any earthquake activity. So that's why this is really a weird earthquake swarm that is rattling the Vogtland recently. Started out with tiny quakes at first, and then one hit magnitude 2.4, it was felt far and wide. People felt it. Many people say in German, well, guys, just take grandma's vase off the shelf and all will be good, right? Ah, we don't know because now we're seeing hundreds of micro tremors and experts telling us this could be far from over. So stick with me, guys, because that story gets stranger by the hour. So where did this all start? Let's start from the beginning. Um, on November 2025, near Lubi, a quake of magnitude 2.4 struck at around 11, 11 p.m. So that evening, the trembling was felt in many towns in Bad Brambach, Klingenthal, Bad Elster, people heard a deep rumble that lasted roughly 10 to 15 seconds. And you can imagine if you don't live in an earthquake prone region, that is scary. So just that morning, there had already been a smaller quake, magnitude 1.4, roughly at a depth of 10.8 kilometers, roughly seven miles. Then the magnitude 2.4 was at a depth of 8.8 .8 kilometers, roughly also like 7.3 miles. So that is shallow. That is still considered shallow. That's why people feel it. So many people thought, okay, normal, small quake, and the rest is aftershocks. Nothing weird, nothing to see here. But something has shifted, guys, from aftershocks to a full swarm. Where does this come from? Because that original sequence did not calm down. Instead, far more quakes followed. You see it on the maps that I'm showing you while I'm speaking. On Friday midday, two more felt events, magnitude 1.7 again, magnitude 2.2. That looks almost like the Campo Flegre super volcano that has an earthquake swarm like this going on. But without a super volcano, what is it? The epicenters then started to drift, not just around Luby anymore, but also slightly south and then spreading. So what's going on underground? Then by Sunday morning, the pattern looked different. Dozens, even hundreds of tiny earthquakes were recorded by the automatic recording stations there. Not just aftershocks, but a full blown earthquake swarm. So earthquake swarm, we can't really tell what's the main shock is this aftershock. This is like shock, 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 shock. If you watch my channel more often, you know what I'm talking about. We had this massive swarm in Santorini this year in Campi Flegre and, and ongoing in Campi Flegre. That just as an example. So the first wave alone from Friday to Sunday, 7 a.m. was almost 600 events that were automatically logged in. So 
what is going on underground? Are there fluids moving? Are there deep cracks forming? Are there shifting clusters? The geologists explain these swarms in the Vogtland as related to fluids rising from deep underground. I never like it when I hear that fluids are rising from deep underground because fluids usually, if it's just fluids, what fluids is it? Because like normal fluids don't do this. Magmatic fluids do that, right? We know that because we're looking into volcanoes every day. So scientists are telling us rising from deep underground, water, gases, maybe remnants. And here it gets interesting. Remnants of ancient magma chambers pushing upwards along old fault lines. So old fault lines means that the crust is weakened there. And we know magma always is looking for the way of least resistance. Everything that's rising from above is basically looking for that. Like a miner. If there's already a mining tunnel, I don't build a new one right next to it, right? So fluid can act like a lubricant down there, makes existing cracks slip, but maybe in small bits, which can produce a cascade of tiny earthquakes instead of one big bang. So we know that if we have an intrusion of whatever, I'll be careful here, and you've got old cracks and fault lines, it lubricates them and they can slip. That's what we could see here. But still, the question is, why is this happening now? So in the current sequence, after a brief lull, the activity resumed. A new cluster was formed in Kaslice. Means that those fluids likely found new pathways. So what's happening now? The swarm is still alive. And how you say in Germany, the people are hearing a Dauergrollen. That means continuous thunder. They hear it. And that is frightening. Ask the people of Pozzoli in Campi Fligri in Naples. So as of early December this year, 2025, this swarm that started back in November is still active. Just today, on December 10th alone, we saw new earthquakes. Magnitude 2.1 around 6.35 a.m. Then magnitude 1.3 around 6.42. So shortly after one another, clearly visible in manual analysis. So the cluster is spreading out, spatially expanding beyond the original epicenter near Luby. So that means there is enough down there so that it can spread out. It's not just a teeny tiny, it must be a little bit larger. So we heard from seismologists that this isn't a normal aftershock sequence. It's an unusual swarm with many, many small quakes over many days with shifting depth and locations. We have seen this in Santorini this year and there it was a magma intrusion. Although scientists said at the beginning, and remember guys, I always said no, this is a magma intrusion. But scientists said, no, this is just fault lines. Well, we have confirmation now it was a magma intrusion and the earthquakes followed it, basically. And it was activating smaller fault lines that were left and right and center where the magma was going. So we know it's not a normal swarm. That means, at best, if we are careful with what we're saying, the underground is still unsettled. Fluids might be still migrating. The earth under Vogtland is adjusting. Adjusting, let's say it that way. What could that mean? Why should we watch carefully? We know that swarms like this are not rare in Vogtland in Western Bohemia. The region has a long history of these swarms of these cluster swarms, Schwammbeben in German, earthquake swarms, often without a big main shock. Good thing is the scientists don't expect a volcanic explosion because this is not a classic volcanic eruption zone. Maybe until it is. Now I'm not saying that guys, but it's certainly 
interesting. What is forming there? Is there something forming? Because still, when fluids push and cracks are shifting, sometimes stresses can accumulate. And then let's only talk about the stress in the crust. If there is something accumulating because of that, occasionally swarms do lead to larger earthquakes. It's rare, but it's a possibility. So right now we have mostly rumble, microquakes, shifting clusters, but nothing huge. So that's why seismologists are watching this area very, very closely. So here's the deal. A normal small quake didn't die out. It morphed into something strange, this swarm that we're seeing right now, that is still evolving and ongoing as we speak. We can't say if it stops tomorrow or if it escalates. Technology can't tell us, we're not that far. So if you live near the Vogtland, Kraslice, or the border region between the two countries, keep your ears open, keep your eyes open, but your feeling and your ears. Report anything, share it, because that's valuable information for the scientists, right? So because, and that's not so great, the scientists say this could be a long-term process and we might only realize its meaning later, unfortunately whatever is happening later, right? So guys, I hope you like this. We have big earthquakes. We just had one in Japan, 7.6, and wow, does it have a storm of aftershocks in the higher magnitudes. And we've had many. We just had Alaska, 7.0. We had Taiwan, 5.3. And this year, mega thrust subduction zone earthquake, 8.8 .8 in Kamchatka. So check out my other videos, guys. And if you're interested with what's coming from above, Interstellar Object 3i Atlas keeps blowing our minds, guys. Subscribe, hype and like this video. And I see you here in a second in the next one. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.